All right, so Riley, you has something to say? Hold on, I'm eating lifesaver mints. <laughs> oh, lifesavers are so good. I think they're my. I think they're one of my favorite hard candies. Okay, so I'm currently not home. I am in a hotel room in Orlando because I went to Podfest which is a podcast convention. Oh, shit. The people who um, we pay to host our show, me and my buddy Gingy, we do our video game show Pixels. They had, I think they gave like 300 people free tickets to the convention, and me and Gingy were two of those 300 people. All right, good deal, good so, deal. How'd that go? Gingy flew, Gingy flew out here from Nebraska. I bust up here. I spent like eight hour layover at the bus station. Oh. And it's been fun so far. We have one more day at the convention. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know if we're going though, because Gingy really doesn't want to pay for parking. Again, because it's like $24 to park at the place where the convention is. Shit. But today, we <clears throat> the trip was going very well. Everything's going great. Until today, when. <clears throat> So, weeks leading up to this, there was a discussion. So, I have a mullet, if you didn't know. I honestly, I've only <clears throat> ever seen, like, one or two pictures of you, so I have no idea. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a mullet right now at this moment. And my good friends over at Pixels Media are not a fan of said mullet. So, a bet was made in a Let's Play, like, a month ago. That when we get here at PodFest, in the hotel room, we were going to record Game of Life for the PlayStation 1. And there was a bet placed, because in the Pokemon Let's Play itself, where the bet was placed, there's a Pokemon called a Wooloo. I don't know if you guys know what a Wooloo is. It's a sheep. It's a sheep Pokemon. Yeah, oh, okay. Kick that Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. So, Ginger doesn't want to use the Wooloo. And I want him to use the Wooloo. So the bet was simple. If he wins, I have to go shave my mullet on this trip, and he gets to record it. If he, if I won, he had to use that Wooloo in the whole Let's Play forever. Good. And today, that finally came up when I was recording a different Let's Play of Let's Go Pikachu. And I had mentioned that after that, I was going to try to get the PlayStation emulator set up. And he told me not to download anything on his computer, which is something he did not inform me of. He did not inform me of this caveat. ruh -ro. So we argued for 15 minutes about the fact that he was forfeiting the bet. And then I said, okay, you don't want me to download something on your computer? Oh, and he, and he left the hotel room and slammed the door for like five minutes. That was funny. <laughs> I was like, okay, you want me to download something on the computer? Fine. He only, he only left and slammed the door because, like, I kept saying the word forfeit over and over and it made him really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> forfeit. 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 And forfeit. I kept, I kept doing it. I kept doing you it in see. stupid ways. I kept doing it in stupid ways. It was, like, the main the main joke that I was making. I, did, I, was, I was doing this really convoluted thing where I was like, okay, if there's four men at the gym. And, they, <laughs> and only three of them are fit. So the, no, or no, no, four no, of them are fit. fit. They're all fit. They're doing. They're at the gym and they're all fit. So they're four fit men. And now, if you put the words four and fit together, what do you get? Four fit. <laughs> oh, dude, anyway. I, I think I would strangle you, honestly, if we were in the same freaking room. <laughs> While you were just like going nuts, like, oh, okay, okay. So, so you want to fucking, you want to go with this? Like, I'm gonna drop an atomic elbow on you. If you were to buy four articles of clothing. And they all fit. Oh my god. <laughs> but anyway, so I was like, okay, I can't download anything on a computer. I'm calling the bluff. Because I knew it was an excuse. So I went and I got a P PlayStation 1 emulator working on my phone. And I use a screen recorder like I used to for my Let's Plays. Fun, fun. And at that point, he had no excuse that he forfeit the bet, and now he has to use the Wooloo. 
Oh, dear God. But he said he's going to purposely make it die in every battle. So basically, he's only going to have five Pokemon because he's going to have this Lulu he keeps killing. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. And all right. also, right when we were about to... Hold on, this is the big part. This is the part that has to do with us. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right before the show started, Robin was here for this. Jinji decides, as I'm in the call, preparing to record, he joins the general chat in our Discord server. Now, our beds are directly next to each other in the same hotel room. So everything Jinji is saying is going into my microphone. So that can't happen. And then we fought about it for 15 minutes because he has no reason at this moment to get into that general call. That general call has been going for like an hour and a half, I believe. He has no reason to, at this moment, jump into that <laughs> Discord call. Wait, was this in my Discord or your Discord? My, di my Discord, our show Discord was where he was talking. And I was talking Oh, okay. Here. And everything he was saying was getting put into my microphone when we're getting ready to record a podcast because he's right next to me. And we have an argument. I tell him to get off the call. He doesn't want to get off the call. And now he's gone. <laughs> he went outside and he drove away. He's gone. Oh, God. So what did you do? You should you just... push your beds together. Oh, yeah. You, you guys need to make up get and make, yeah. uh, make, make, uh, <laughs> make something. But, you know. I, I don't want to put words or ideas in your head, so, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to figure this out eventually, because is that your ride yeah. to the bus stop or the wherever? That's is that my your ride, ride to home? the bus stop. He's paying for the bus. He's paying for the hotel room that I'm inside of at this moment. Oh. <laughs> he bought me tickets to Disney World a couple days ago. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're, you're getting mad. Okay. First off, buddy, buddy, buddy. You can you can only like poor people can only argue with other poor people. <laughs> you you can't argue with the friend who has money because that's the friend who has money. That's the one that takes you to say, oh, I don't know. He doesn't always have money. He just got a tax refund. Shit, it's more than I got right now because I would <laughs> be I would be spending money to take your ass to Disney World. Fuck that. Damn. Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> Like, I, I might pay for, like, a lap dance or something for you, but, you know, I would be taking you to no fucking... I would be taking you to no Disney World. <laughs> anyway, We wanted anyway. to go to Galaxy's Edge, but we went to the wrong park, so there was pretty much no point for us to go. Well, I heard that... So did Mo Diggity just admit live on a podcast that he would buy a lap dance for a minor? Well, I would assume that when I would do it, he would be of age, of course, because I would never do something so callous. Oh, okay. yeah, to... grooming's fine. Oh uh, no 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 no! It's 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 not it's not grooming. It's not grooming if he's eighteen and up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just getting him ready for it. I got to be good. Okay, I don't like where this is going <laughs> at, at all. Like, because I'm here to talk about politics. Like, this is like some Onision What's bullshit. What's more political? Oh God, uh, are we having that debate? <laughs> What's more Let's political? Ask the libertarian. Yeah, p politics or oh no, we we are we are so not having that conversation ever on this on this podcast. the The answer is a hard no, an emphatic no, a constant no. Ten twelve year olds consent. I'll see you guys on the Lollycon episode. <laughs> Featuring special guest the Digi Bro inside. Bro? Oh man. <laughs> Man, I tried to get Digi on the show like a few <laughs> weeks ago, like, but he hasn't even responded to me yet. But, you know, this week wheel gets the grease. And eventually, I'm sure that, you know, because uh, I, I think it would be a lot of fun uh, having him on there. Like, he, I've been listening to a lot of PCP stuff and a lot of uh, Digi Bro versus other people. And he seems like, uh, he seems very well spoken. And I'm actually really looking forward to any kind of convo. Uh, that I can get with him on this show. But anyway, we're not talking about PCP. We're talking about the Pulitooks. So I guess uh, the that would be... Yes, the Pulitikalicious. So I guess that would be a three, a two, a skiddly diddly do. Diddly do. See, I was prepared this time well, for your fucking <laughs> ass. I, 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 felt, I, I felt in my heart of hearts that you were going to try to freaking jump on my goddamn intro. But you didn't get me this time. I was just trying time. to join you. I was trying to do a crescendo of skiddly diddly do. 
Yeah, I, 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 I fucking doubt that. I, I'm, I'm on to you, you rogue. I, I, I know what you're trying to. No, do. I'm telling you, I wanted to do it together in unison, like a family. Okay, this is getting weird. Okay, so welcome to the Mocast. The <laughs> I'm your podcast ho- family. Podcast <laughs> families. <laughs> yes. Well, all right. So let's go ahead and start this off. Welcome to the MoCast, everyone. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Uh, joining me today uh, after our, uh, what was this, one, two-week break that we had? Because I don't one, I think. One, I think it was just a one. One-ish. But, you know, like, a, you know, this is a podcast where we don't take things too terribly seriously. If we take a week off, no big deal. But joining me today, of course, are my two awesome co-hosts. Co-host numero uno would be Robin. Say hello, Robin. Hello. Yes. Numero uno, as yes. always. And numero dos would be Senor O'Reilly Brooks. Say hello, Riley. Second place, like always. Oh, shut up. You're always <laughs> fucking complaining about being second place. <laughs> nice guys always finish <laughs> last. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, nice guys jerk off in the freaking corner while they watch the chick get plowed if they want to plow. <laughs> nice guys finish last. You're finishing first. Anyway, so, well, I, I, I guess in that case, you know, but I don't want to dwell on that too much because that, that's, that's not the kind of show I really want to, that I really want to make. We got to do a cuckolding episode. Oh, we are, we, we would never, ever, ever do that. Like, this is, <laughs> ugh. I'll do it. I'll champion the cuckolds. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm the prepared. hell was that? <laughs> What? That sounded like a really screwed up freaking crusty the clown laugh. <laughs> except, <laughs> except yours was. <laughs> it's like someone kicked you in the nuts and freaking parallel and like shot you in an alternate dimension where you were getting <laughs> your audio fucked with or something, man. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, it was turning into an alien right before your eyes. Cool, it's cool, cool. It's, mullet. it's taking over my mind. It's a space age bulletproof mullet like Dr. Disrespect has. Anyway. Does Dr. Disrespect have a mullet? Well, his character, quote unquote, Dr. Disrespect, does have one. He has a bulletproof mullet. It's the best mullet Two-time in all the world. Two time. Anyway, I'm not here to stand for Dr. Disrespect today. We're not here to stand for the PCP or yeah, Pokemon. We're not talking about Lollicon. We're not talking about cheaters. We're not talking about cuckoldry. Oh, no. Well, we're talking <laughs> about a little so bit of cuckoldry. better topics but in that we can be talking about. in the about. topic of politics. I, 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 to be honest, <laughs> I, as a, a somewhat Bernie supporter that leans libertarian, uh, I feel a little cucked. I, I do feel a little cucked. And I, I'll, I'll tell you why. Because the, the Democratic free, the Democratic establishment really, really does have it out for Bernie. I mean, it was bad the last time around. But you figure that they would sort of see what victory would look like. And it, 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 it would be... Ugh, God damn it. it this, see, this is how frustrated I am. I'm already... Victory looks like. victory looks like too much work for them. And they just want to lose. All right, guys, guys, guys. It's like the, they fucking the want to lose. What? Here's the, here's the podcast. Fuck Joe Biden. Thanks for listening, everybody. Good night. Yeah, fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> fuck Joe Biden, but stupid old ass. I, I mean, for crying out loud... I, you know, at some point you have to debate whether or not he's just flubbing on purpose or if he really is kind of like jacked in the head and he's too old to run for office. Because we if, hold if, these truths to be self evident that all men, uh, the, the, you know, the thing. You know, the thing. Come on. Like, no, yeah, you, the thing. you are like, first <laughs> off, you, you're given the far. Who doesn't know the thing? Yeah, you know, first off, when you do shit like that, and this is just me and my tinfoil hat uh, self-talking, but you're giving the far right, you know, the ones who are like, uh, all Democrats are anti-American, communists, atheists, brr, 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 when you can't even mention God, because it almost felt like he was dodging, the, you know, saying God in, in a public, in, well, in, a, in his setting, 
because for some people God offends them, and I I, I like to I, I would like to think that that mentality isn't so prevalent on the left, but I, I don't know. But you know what? We're not here to talk about that. That bothers You're not here me. To talk about liberals. No, damn you! Shut up. Wasn't Obama the president that uh, they like? He did the Pledge of Allegiance, but he he excluded the word God. Well, yeah, because he was trying to do the old school version of the Pledge of Allegiance. I I respect that, and I didn't feel like that there was anything uh, disrespectful per se. I don't think that he was deliberately trying to uh, slap. Uh, you know, it wasn't a slap in the face. Uh, of Americans, like like a lot of the establishment uh, uh, Republicans back in the Obama days said, uh, I, I think that he was just trying to like you know be a little bit more modern, because Obama really was a modern day president. I mean, looking back at a lot of the shit that I gave him shit for, I would probably scale a lot of it back, just because I was more pissed off than anything. But he just, I, I tell you one thing, he. He did make it a little bit hard to be sort of a supporter of his because he cha he tried to do that centrist bullshit, and that that yep. pisses me off to no end. It's like, oh, I'm not a liberal or a progressive, or I'm a centrist, dude. That is such a cop out, especially for a man of your stature and your expectations. Like, I I would expect that shit from Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren. But for crying out loud, I, I do. I, I never uh, really expected that from Obama, and that was that was a really big disappointment for me. But anyway, we're going back in the old days. We're talking about the freaking Super Tuesday elections and all the fallout that's been going on since then. And I'm kind of glad that we didn't even do it, do this show the day before, or even a couple of days after that. We let a few days pass, or uh, I guess this is being being recorded on Saturday. Because we really do get to see how everything's about to play out. Like right now, uh, before I even got onto this freaking show today, I was watching a clip from Elizabeth Warren, and she was extolling the virtues of, uh, 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 well, basically she was praising freaking Joe Biden. So you can see, oh, you, you can see yes. where, you can yes. see. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, bail your fangs in agreements if you agree with me. Anyway, <laughs> but join it, the hissing choir to show yeah, your support for Elizabeth Warren. It really does suck because it does it seem to, uh, she's going to be going for, uh, she's going to be going on the riding with Biden, uh, freaking train, and I, I think this will probably be the final nail in the Bernie coffin, even though he has. Well, a lot of people, I'm looking at the delegate count right now, a lot of people say that he's out of the race, but it's it's 568 Joseph Biden versus 495 Bernie Sanders. Now, yeah, he's not out, nowhere near out of the race. You said Joseph yeah. Biden, but you didn't say Bernard Sanders. You missed your, you missed your chance. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Do not correct me. <laughs> it sickens me. I mean, shit. At, at this point, honest to God, if, if Sanders dis doesn't win the election... Or does it win the uh, the the ultimate primary the the nod? Like hell, I would freaking vote for Tulsi Gabbard <laughs> at this point because you will never see my ass vote for fucking Michael Bloomberg or Warren because I I personally think freaking. I mean, I would. I'm well, voting. I mean, I'm voting blue. I, I, I'm going to be the. I'm voting blue unless it's Bloomberg. I'll vote blue for anybody. Else. Well, Bloomberg's well, out. Well, luckily, yeah. Bloomberg's luckily, okay, Bloomberg dropped. So. Yeah, I'm luckily, voting blue no matter what. I, I tweeted out. I tweeted out. I'm like, don't make me vote for Joe Biden. I'm gonna be real mad about it. I'll do it, but I'm gonna be real mad about it. I, I'm I'm trying to uh, rectify that, but like every, every 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 like bone in my body right now is it is like there is a line, and if I don't it's see it's better than Trump. Uh, uh I, well, okay. Uh, Harm reduction. I'm voting harm reduction. Harm reduction, but the, but but this guy Joe Biden though, man, he he helped out. Yeah, he he voted against a lot of uh, desegregationist policies back in the day. I'm uh, starting to get worried too, because he he says he's considering. <laughs> he said he's considering running uh, alongside a Republican VP, 
which is terrifying because when he gets put in like a you know an old folks home because his brain deteriorated like they're gonna have to run the country oh yeah so then we will be back to republican rule in freaking no time because i don't know why like he's considering a republican vp well, I'm I'm sure that it's it's the Gross. whole party unity thing and, and like government unity thing, you know. He's I think he's about to run on the anyone but freaking Trump thing, and that is what sunk John Kerry's campaign because Kerry and the few other ones that no one remembers, I don't remember, uh, who ran back in 2004, uh, all of them ran ran under the anyone but Bush mantra. And I, I feel like I'm seeing a repeat or, or, or repeated a freaking 2004 uh, uh, again, because uh, as much grief as I gave uh, Romney, who's a freaking turncoat son of a bitch, and he <laughs> sucks. Ugh. He sucks eggs. That's what we said in elementary school. Mm -hmm. we, we all yo, it. yo, you suck an egg. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're. Mitt Romney sucks eggs. That's what we said because we were somehow following the election in elementary school, and that was our best insult because we were all fucking ten. Yeah, that's such I a. I didn't know you were alive. <laughs> <laughs> when when Mitt Romney ran, <laughs> Mitt, Rom <laughs> Mitt Romney ran against Obama. Jesus, I'm not that young. Mm. Suck an egg. That's such a weird. That's such a weird freaking phrase. Like, what is this supposed to mean? Like, do you mean like? Is this like a substitute for balls? You know, when you want to say suck balls or suck my balls, you just say go suck and I assume egg. that's what it was. I was just a fucking 10 year old who went with it. I assume that's what the joke was. Oh, if well, anyone's sucking eggs, it's going to be Elizabeth Warren because, you know, snakes really love to eat eggs. Oh, dude. Every, <laughs> oh man, every single freaking chat in YouTube right now that has anything to do with Elizabeth Warren, uh, uh Warren, uh, Warren is inundated with people just spamming the fucking snake emote and going yes it's the fucking funniest goddamn thing and very Leafy's accurate here. too huh i said leafy is here <laughs> leafy is here oh man he has arrived. and i gotta be honest you know she she fucking deserves it too because uh, she and, and what she fucking deserves. literally none of her fucking policies align with Joseph Biden. Like I don't know why the hell she would consider endorsing him. Oh well, it's just politics and that, and she's he's probably uh, uh, promising her a cabinet position for God's sake. I mean, cabinet there's... position or like someone's giving her a bail paycheck. Oh well, which Can we talk would... about how the Bernie versus moderates uh, meme has become reality. Well, give me one second. We'll get to that. Well, you know that does <laughs> not surprise me at all that Elizabeth Warren once again is selling out her Democratic principles for a freaking paycheck. I mean, this is the lady. No, well, hang on. I wasn't saying that as fact. I was just saying that it could be the case. Oh well, personal. Oh, uh, I, I I will go ahead. I think it's ninety percent true. I mean, one hundred. I mean, I I wouldn't doubt that at all whatsoever. I mean, she does this constantly. She went in. Elizabeth Warren to me is sort of an example of what a huge progressive disappointment really looks like, especially when you're of the age where you you feel like you're in the progressive camp, and you have this person. I mean, she's kind of like Hillary Clinton in a way. Um, she goes out. She tells you all these all these things that are happening. She goes on shows like MSNBC's Rachel Maddow or the Rachel Maddow show. Uh, she'll go on Real Time with Bill Maher, which was my first exposure to her. And she talked a lot of truth and a lot of sense. And she, she every time she shows up, you know, someone goes, well, what about that Tai Chi uh, blah 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 Indian blah 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 application I'm like okay I, I didn't like that but I'm kind of willing to let that slide because I like what she's saying and if we can get some freaking if we can get some fixes out of this some better regulations or maybe we can uh, uh, knock the freaking healthcare industry down a peg or two I'm fine I'm fine with it but she came in with such fanfare speaking a lot of freaking great praise and i had some very real hope for her because i i was it was sort of riding the obama hope change wave like a lot like everyone else was and uh as soon as she got into office man uh it's like two years later 
she's she's making great speaking engagement paychecks uh she's she has all of her coffers full for all of her freaking electoral or electoral needs and re-electoral or re-election needs and it it, it it bothers me because you you kind of notice how she sort of clammed up and shut up about all of that a lot like Hillary Clinton did when she was going after the healthcare industry back in the early the mid 2000s she was pushing for uh, some sort of universal health care and uh, the health care lobbyist showed up and gave her a paycheck uh, gave her a check wor worth almost a million dollars and she clammed up on that freaking bill that she was trying to push through Congress and the bill predict as predicted failed. And I, I feel like Elizabeth Warren has done that a lot more times than we have noticed or at least I have noticed. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel like we're being really, I think we're being screwed by her more than we are Biden, because we all know that Biden is a piece of garbage. Well, it's, it's not even necessarily Elizabeth Warren herself, but, like, all of her supporters are, like, the, the fact that they're even considering switching to Biden is, like, almost surreal. It's like, what, how? How can you possibly think? Because, like, even if she, like, what I would have expected is if Warren came out and was like, I am endorsing Joseph Biden, like some of her supporters might go to Joe Biden. I would, I would have assumed a lot of them would go to Bernie because, you know, yeah, I mean, there's votes. Yeah. There's a lot of blue, no matter who like you two have that I imagine would go to Biden. But I, I think the anger I'm, I'm hoping that the anger, uh, outweighs the, uh, sell out to, or cook to Biden, uh, uh, aspect of her freaking campaign because, I think Biden's probably the worst choice on the ballot right now. He's also not progressive. Like Warren and, and no, not Sanders at all. Were the two progressive like runners? Who's left? Uh, right now it's it's Biden and Sanders and Tulsi Gabbard, but they changed the no, they changed the freaking rules, so now she won't be allowed in the debates because she's uh, uh she's pretty much at this point just trying to raise hell. Which, you know, I, I applaud her for doing that. I really honestly freaking do. Uh, because most people, when they go into politics, they sort of clam up after they don't get what they want. But uh, I, I'm glad that, you know, maybe... Because I don't think there's a chance that she's going to siphon off any voters from Sanders or I Biden. Mean, she's already she, fucked in terms of delegates. Like. Yeah, she, does, she just doesn't have the star power uh, to do that. So at, at this point, she just needs to be a loud, progressive voice that gets the point across and yes. maybe she can uh, maybe she can endorse put... bernie oh yeah and she fucking better and it, like it, it, that would be so weird if no one endorses bernie at all out of this like i know michael bloomberg who uh who's pretending to fight back tears during his uh concession speech like dude you ain't crying about progressive values bro you're crying because you just realized you're gonna have to pay that big fucking bill 500 big million dollars million dollar check oh yeah oh, 500 million dollars i don't care if you're a billionaire or a multi-billionaire that shit better clear Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh because someone's going to end up freaking dead in a damn better ditch that's liquidated yeah oh, boy. <laughs> But anyway, I, I'm, I'm talking too much uh, right now. Uh, uh, Riley, why don't you go ahead and give us your thoughts on uh, the Warren Sanders Biden situation? Hiss. Hiss. Yes, that's a big thought of mine is hiss. Big time. Um, I think she'd be able to understand the weight of her decision with all those scales. <laughs> God. It makes me so upset that the DNC is fucking Bernie again. Oh, again. snatching snatching defeat out of the jaws of victory. It's the DNC they motto. have their guy. They have their fucking guy. They want a Democratic president. They have their guy. He would we, win, we have but they won't guy. let him in. We have Bernard Sanders, who is yes, the Bernard most Sanders. leaning candidate we've ever had. It's still not very left in terms of politics. Like, in terms of, like, a global sense. But, like, for the United States, fucking, like, radical left, basically. You want to no, beat yeah. Trump? He's your guy. Bernie there's Sanders like, There's, like, two guy. people who are running that are actually left-leaning, and that's fucking it's Bernie and fucking Tulsi. They're the only people that are actually on the left. Like, 
Yeah, uh, like, like in, a, in a global sense, they're the only people on the left. They're like, not even far left. Like, like in, I, in a in a global sense, like it's ridiculous. Like I guess that's the big reason why I didn't really like Pete Buttigieg uh, very much. See, I'm saying the name correctly this time because yeah, I in a I practice. Sense, he is a <laughs> but uh, uh no, yes, he, he Pete didn't. Buttigieg. No, no, da, 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 da. <laughs> please, I I edited it out that out the last time. So anyway, uh, why? Yeah, Pete Booty Boy. Yeah, well, hey, well, because I, I don't want anyone to get the impression that we're trying to like do homophobic slurs or anything like that. Cause especially with politics and shit, and anyone's going to bust the freaking gut. Like I'm pretty sure that we'll get some down votes o o over just shitting on Warren and Biden after this. But God, yes, but hey, beauty bug. God damn you. <laughs> well, anyway, so Pete, yeah, it didn't really come <laughs> off as Peter. a very. Oh, <laughs> Peter, is it? Beauty. Dead. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you, you're de you're derailing the podcast, Riley. Shut up. <laughs> rats and snakes. Yeah, rats and fucking wasn't snakes, wasn't man. Was supposed to be my talk time mode? Did you say you were talking too much? <laughs> yeah, I, I did, but but I was trying to make a point, and then we got off track. What's your cause... point, Mo? No, what's, what's your point, point Riley? <laughs> my point is just that. It sucks that like it's it's a coordinated effort. It's a coordinated effort to fuck Bernie. Like yeah. every like little fucking straggler candidate besides Tulsi, obviously, because Tulsi has a fucking spine in her back. It all drops out and endorses Biden right yep. before, right during Super Tuesday. Coincidence? I think the fuck not. I went to work that day on Super Tuesday, and I was like, my fucking stomach hurts. Like I know what's gonna happen when I get home. Like it's not good. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're doing hip thrust, but no one's behind you. Like, hey, wait a minute. Am I being fucked right now? Oh, it sure does sound. It does feel like it. Oh, I, I don't like I this at all. I wish I was getting fucked right now. Like, that'd be a lot better than what's going on. Jesus. Oh, I, I'm talking about the involuntary hip motions with no one behind me during Super Tuesday. That's how I felt. It's like, God damn, man. Like, and then I, I keep getting fucked. My hair pulled, my ass slapped. Well, I yeah, don't like Super any Tuesday of this at all. Horrible. Get laid instead. Moral, moral, moral of the story. Oh, well, I couldn't do either, so... But, yeah. Damn! Mo, well, you get laid if you wanted to. I believe uh, in you. I, I live in a podunk town. Like, the... Y you don't want anything that's here, man. <laughs> you yeah. just go, uh... If you go buy some meth, you can, you know, usually find a girl who... You know. Oh, well, see, that would be the easy route. Like, I, I could <laughs> do that all day, every <laughs> that's day. That's easy, mode. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm trying not to do that, because that... that that like fucking I, I don't know I, you know what we're not having this conversation right now. No, we can do the drug talk. Okay, I'm doing the drug talk. No, no, no. Here's no, the no. difficulty. No, here's the difficulty ranking: meth heads, meth heads without STDs, oh, normal yes, women, man. women who are more than a three on the attractiveness scale. That's the difficulty scale. Man, uh, I don't know. Meth heads are harder than normal women. No, 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 no. Meth, I'm, meth I'm heads are easy. It goes, from, it goes from easy to hard. So Wait, so why are girls easiest. that are lower than a three on the attractiveness scale? The no, hardest? girls that are higher than a three. Oh, higher than a three are hard to get. It goes it goes meth okay. heads, meth heads without STDs. So wait, people. anyone lower than a three is a normal girl? Yes, anyone. No, normal girls that are lower than threes. Normal girl, lower than threes who aren't meth heads is the next, is the hard mode. And then the super hard mode is uh, girls that have are more than a three on the track to the scale. See, honest to God, I kind of thought that way when you were when I was your age, buddy. But w once you get older, it, it, your 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 self esteem and, and and stuff it does improve a little bit. Like once you once you look back at this, you go, "Ugh, God, that's fucking cringy." What I said, because like I used to think like that too. Like, nah, it, it, it gets a little bit better. You're just young and pessimistic right now trust me i mean i'd fuck a meth head if i could find one i just don't know where to find them well, yeah. all right here here's some quick... everywhere they're yeah. all over <laughs> yeah honestly look to your left there just she is. stand around at a gas station for like an hour and one will show up you know like if you see the one sort of in a real disheveled dress like sort of scratching her arms going hey hello hey what's up sort of muttering to herself I, just, I don't know what a where Rob is at. I That's what I spied in, like a smooth criminal, ready oh, to. Jimone. I may end up. Uh, I may end up accidentally doing meth, so that could be cool. <laughs> oh my god! How does that yeah, happen? I'm I'm planning on doing Molly at some point, so. 
Oh, Molly? Shit, I've never yeah. done I've never done Molly. I've been a little bit of a fr- I was always a little afraid of those types of drugs like Molly and, and stuff like that MDMA or is that the same mm. thing? It's the same thing. Oh, it is. Molly the same MDMA thing. and ecstasy are all the same thing. Yeah, see, I was always like, oh shit, this is me like, you know, king mushrooms and LSD here. Uh, <laughs> like afraid of those types of drugs. I don't know, like I just never can I never uh when I'm afraid uh, of the mushrooms and LSD. That's that's my fear over there. Oh, dude, uh, like I'll be honest with you. If you had to pick one, I would recommend mushrooms because that's yeah, that's what I figured. It's, that's what it's I've the been easier. Told. It's the easier to manage pick high. Pick one. It's an easier it's to manage high, one. and the uh, there's less of a chance of you actually freaking out. And if you do have a, if you do freak out a little bit, you can be talked down a lot. Ugh. Pardon me. Ugh. You could be talked down a lot easier when you're I mean, on you mushrooms all versus trips LSD. Like, you can kill all those trips with like a Xanax anyway, right? Oh, I never took Xanax before. Like I, I never got into that fad because like it, it took me one time moving out into one of the bigger cities, and I, I ran with this group of freaking hoodlums who were just up to no good, who just did fucking so bars. Making trouble in your neighborhood. Yeah, they started making trouble in my neighborhood. You know. Yeah, but I didn't get into one little fight, and my mom didn't get scared, and I didn't have to move with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air, which fucking sucks, because, you know, that would have been a damn sight better where I am now. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, LSD versus mushrooms, you're, you're definitely having a, going to have a better time on mushrooms, just because you feel a little bit better, a little bit more loosey-goosey. There's none of those uh, really whacked out ass chemicals that go into making LSD into your freaking mushroom trip because it's like organic, you know? Right. You just can't like, uh, unless you do like six or seven freaking caps for your first time, you know, at the same oh, time. Yeah, the, de- the destiny hero trip that he did. Yeah, yeah. Th- th- then you're just did fucking you watch that? stupid. He took, he took like, how much did he take? He took a fuck ton of mushrooms where he was like, I'm just going to hero dose it. Uh, God damn. Destiny mushrooms. I'll have to check that out, but I would 10. never. 10.5 grams for his first trip. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I only ever did like four or five grams a piece, you know, and that was good enough. But yeah. And he, I... like, he, he thought he was dying the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, gee, I wonder why. Because, <laughs> well, it's like, I feel like I'm dying, man. Well, what'd you do? I took too many mushrooms because I'm fucking retarded. Durr. Like, dude, well, yeah, you're going to feel like that. You're going to feel like that for at least till next Tuesday, bro. <laughs> so you have fun here. Just yeah, like I've heard, I've heard from Molly, the, the fake stuff you get is either methamphetamines or sassafras. What, so, what's sassafras? Is, the herb? I have no idea. I have no idea what it is. It's a drug, apparently. I have no idea what it is. It's more popular in California, is it I guess. sassafras something you put in tea? Yeah, no, it's a spice. It's like a southern spice. I don't I don't know what the drug is, but yeah. Well, for what I heard, Molly is kind of fun. It's a little bit fleeting, but it's super, super intense. Yeah, I was told the come down is going to suck. I never. Oh shit! I, I've never. Uh, oh man! I'll tell you. I, I used to do a lot, a lot of acid, and there are some <laughs> come downs that I think were because they're heroin based. Those mm-hmm. come downs fucking sucked, because you, you talk about being able to understand a Nine Inch Nails album. You know, there, there you go. Right there, I was like, oh, so I'm never doing heroin. <laughs> It was like if if heroin based stuff is the, if the come downs this shitty, fuck that. Like my interest is peaked on all sorts of stuff, but I, you know I, I I did manage to stay away from like the majority of the really really bad shit. Like I, I would never. I, I wouldn't, time, I don't wouldn't do touch any the bad drugs. Stuff, but like yeah, no one do drugs, please. And yeah, I would I wouldn't touch any of the bad shit, like the super bad stuff. Like I, I probably wouldn't touch like you know coke meth heroin right like that's like yeah way off the table like way far off the table yeah like, like I, I don't know pain I, pills I, are alright I guess yeah pills are, can be kind of fine just don't go fucking crazy with it um honest to god though if you were to do coke just have it with you you have it with your friends 
Just buy yourself like an eight ball party for a couple of nights and you'll have fun. Get it out of your system because I'm talking as like a freaking like a, 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 a problem addict here. You know, I used to do coke real bad and uh, I used to be off and on it for like the longest time. 2000, I think 2005 to 2008 ish, nine ish, maybe. Mm. And uh, um. I, I I managed to, like I almost lost a couple of jobs because of coke and uh, I've watched some friends bottom out because they uh, they started selling their shit to go buy their next fix and like dude it was a pretty bad fucking scene and even though it's a little bit fun at the very beginning it's it ultimately it, it's sort of like something that you wish you never did in the long run. They were like, dude, this is just too much, man. And now I, I wish I never did it. And then I yeah, I did. What, what's up? Uh, Super Tuesday, huh? Yeah, hold Pretty on. Cool. So we're, we're, we're getting back to Super Tuesday in a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're looping. We're looping. <laughs> yeah, we're looping back because, you know, like, well, drugs and politics sort of go hand in hand. I mean, you can't tell me that Joe Biden didn't freaking do blow off a hooker's ass. At least a baker's dozen, man. They, they, you know, like he's had to it have done fun. that. Not well, really. Bloom, Bloomberg and Trump, you know, they, they, oh, they well, probably did some coke on the Lolita Express, you know. Oh, probably. Oh, God. Uh, the, you know, little Christina, she's 13. She, yeah, she knows how to, you know, get you a line. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. She'll grab the credit card for you. You know, now that I think about it, out of all the freaking candidates, well, besides freaking Uncle Touchy, uh, uh, Biden, who can't stop kissing, like, women on open mouth, like, oh, oh. Sucking her, sucking his wife's fingers. Ew, and and then, like, you know, like, the the crazy shit, like, oh, it's my wife and her sister, can't tell them apart. Like, oh, you, you try to get hook a little something up there, huh, Biden? And then there's the, and then there's the fucking, the the, the weird ass, kid sniffing. Hey, look, Joe, Ooh. Joe, Joseph, I respect the hustle. I respect the hustle. I mean, we had Andrew Yang put like whipped cream and someone in the mouth. I mean, that was that was something too. Th- and then that there was, was that. There was a su- there was a super big controversy within Yang Gang Twitter. I know this because I was following all the Yang Gang accounts. That some chick after the whipped cream thing, she made a video of. She wrote Yang Gang and whipped cream on her tits, and she, like, rubbed it all over herself. Oh, God. <laughs> and, like, well, it was, was super controversial, stupid. and everybody's like, oh, my God, this is so degenerate. Uh, uh, we're going to ruin Yang's election with all these degenerate sexual oh. posts. I'm so fucking sick of that goddamn word. I- I'm-, I'm sick of these, like, you know, like, I, I-, I-, I hate saying things like, Nazi adjacent or national socialist dog whistles. I hate saying the word dog whistle because it conjures up like some like Alex Jones esque uh, bullshit fucking story that I'm about to hear because that's usually what happens, at least in my opinion. But w- when whenever I hear the word like degeneracy and all that, and you start talking to the person or persons who like to use the word degenerate. You find like a a, a a a lot of their vernacular almost is derived from a lot of national socialist or borderline on national socialist beliefs and and, and influences, man. And and I'm, I'm fucking sick of it. The, and, and like the, the mentality of the word de, of the people who use the word degenerate, they uh, they, they it's it's almost like we're going back to like the. Uh, the the Puritan standards of like what we think sexuality is, even though it shouldn't be that much. To, like you should be worrying about other problems personally, besides someone else's like preferences, or their orientation. But like people like that, they it's like that's starting to creep back up into our society again. And when that pendulum yeah, swings, it's becoming real bad. And when it's coming to the point where it's like, you know, like. Some of the traditionalists are like, you know, pornography as a whole is degenerate or like, you know, like coming up to like really extremely traditionalist ideologies. Yeah. Or like because because more people are using the word degenerate. 
Yeah, I, I, I really can't freaking stand that because we're, we're sitting here, we're, we're trying our absolute best to... Uh-oh, Riley freaking just... Do a podcast stuff. and then our co-host leaves. We're just trying our best. We're doing what we can. And then <laughs> well, I'm an asshole every single time. Well, I, I'm sure that he'll get back in. But yeah, that, that's that's been bothering me a little bit too. It's just the, the, a lot of the anti-porn shit is... Uh, it seems to be rooted... It, 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 with this facade of think of the women and, and, and sex trafficking like hold on a second you know last week before you jumped on this freaking bandwagon you didn't give two shits about women and you never fucking mentioned anything about caring about sex trafficking at all bro and then all of a sudden like I'm supposed to believe that these are like a, a uh, things that you hold uh, to like to high to highest is a high account, you know. I mean, legalizing sex work and and having it be like a real career would stop the need for sex trafficking significantly. Oh yeah, but we don't have time for rational solutions, you know. All, all, yeah, all, oh, yeah, this is the United States. We don't do things rationally here. No, not at all. Like, because we, we we have to like fly off the fucking handle. Uh, and, and just uh, it just fucking go like the, the the craziest route we possibly can, like that's that's why I don't uh, like the the progression the uh, the the line that the this freaking DNC is going on because of Super Freaking Tuesday, because it seems that we're about to get an an old school freaking fascist or uh, like I, I just we're either getting a moderate or a fascist unless unless Bernie can somehow pull it through but I, I don't have a lot of hope right now well the thing about freaking Biden is well number one if he's if he's ill in the head and I mean this in the most respectful way possible then you know he is, we he has basically like fucking dementia like he's, you know, like, like yeah we're basically about there. to have another fucking Reagan uh, we're, we're going to end up having another Reagan on our hands and then we're going to have, like... boomers like, like Reagan? Oh, what, you mean, like, boomers like me? Or quote-unquote boomers? Or, like, My actual parents. boomers? Oh, well, pff, uh, I, I think most of them do, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean... Reagan? I mean, you always hear, you always hear, like, old-school boomers bitch and moan about how great the fucking 80s was. I like, well, the, the, the drugs and freaking music was pretty cool. And the TV was pretty cool, too. And, and like the Paul, well, the boomers say that '80s is cool, and the and Mo also a boomer agrees with them. It's funny, like I'll talk to my dad, I'll talk to him about like, um, you know, like having having some kind of like single payer healthcare, like a Medicare for all type system. Yeah. And um, you know, I explain to him how it works in Canada, and he's he's like, wow, that's a really like cool idea. My my dad's a Republican, by the way. He's like, so so like they have people over there on the right doing that. I'm like, no, there's people on the left. Well, what's nuts for me is like I it, would like breaks his brain. Right. He's like, yeah, but that sounds good. Yes, yeah, so... people are doing that. It's like hurting his head, you know. <laughs> like, see, I I wouldn't mind seeing like a a, a a Medicare for all or Medicaid you can buy into sort of thing, or like that some sort of universal health care or at least a public option. Emphasis on the word option and not mandatory. Ugh. No, of course. like if you want your private insurance, sure. Yeah, the, absolutely. Like, I I think the the whole Bernie thing of like you know, letting insurance Fuck be able to negotiate for for drug prices is crucial. Oh yeah, because you can you know you can start like freeing up the market so to speak. I mean, really, it's very capitalist. Big pharma's it... fucked here. Like the the lobbyists are insane. The pharmaceutical lobbyists. Oh yeah. Like they don't. You know, in Canada, you can get fucking insulin for, like, 30 bucks for, like, a month. And then over here, it's, like, fucking hundreds of dollars. Yeah, that's, like, the one, like, uh, I'm just waiting for the day that I uh, accidentally, like, sprain my ankle real bad where I I might break it. Or, like, if I get in a car wreck, uh, I, I have health insurance now, but it's it's probably not going to be good enough to pay off the bulk of the freaking bill. Yeah, it's I'm like, still... do we, does my insurance cover euthanasia? What's, mm. what's, like, good questions. All good questions. Because I can't really afford to get fixed up, so can I just get out of here now? Like it's that's my time to go. That uh, you know, I'm really glad. Uh, like, I'm sort of glad for the election the way that's gone so far because we did manage to get someone called Andrew Yang, who 
I was against the idea of a universal basic income for the Damn longest it, time. Hold on a sec. Uh, okay. But uh, with automation, it will, no one's been able to answer this question. Well, what happens when a lot of our jobs start getting freaking automated? Like, what do we, like, what do, we do? Yeah, like, that's the thing I like about Yang. We have to do something so we can stem the stem the uh, the the hurt from like million, uh, thou hundreds of thousands to millions of people losing their freaking jobs. He really should have made that his main focus instead of the UBI, because the <laughs> UBI was short sighted and he didn't he didn't offer any means of decommodification. Yeah, he did not talk about he didn't talk about uh, automation enough. I it, like honestly. I think if you were gonna run with UEI, you'd have to go. You'd have to start doing like rent control, and like you'd, you'd have to start pushing more on it. But he was just like, "No, we'll find a way. We'll give everyone a thousand dollars a month." Yeah, uh, that that was the he, weird he thing. Should have either run on automation or pushed harder on UBI with like more safety nets. You know? uh, well, yeah, uh, a lot of the candidates, especially like Warren and and well, Warren, yes. Bernie, and freaking yeah, <laughs> uh, War Warren, Bernie, and fucking Biden. Well, they all have their big scare tactic in their little pocket. You know, of course, for everyone, it's Trump. But for, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders, it's lack of a, a, it's a lack of a affordable health care or lack of a decent education. Yada, yada, yada. Warren will just, you know, cuck to whoever is in charge or whoever is going to give her a paycheck. And then, you know. Biden sort of forgot where he was, so uh, you know I I'm remember the black guy, yeah the black guy president I was his VP. Yeah, I was there. I was there for the black guy president. I remember I hate the, the swimming pools. The, my, my corn pop. He was a bad dude. Oh God! Like hey kids, say hey, crowd around me. Look at my hairy legs. Oh Jesus! It's, it's fucking disgusting. Like Biden is just like a disgusting person. Like dude. He would be the dirty old man in the neighborhood that would get his ass beat occasionally because he was trying to touch one of the freaking children, man. Like, I, I freaking he would be the guy that everyone cautions kids to stay away from. Don't ride your bike toward Uncle Touchy's house or else he's going to sniff you. You know, that that's what happens. They like, uh, you know, but every once in a while a kid just goes, oh, he's not going to get me. And then. He's like, hey, I, I just realized 35 years later during freaking therapy, I was molested a lot. Well, what did he look like? The the former vice president? You poor thing. Come here. Let me give you a lot of freaking Xanax. <laughs> he stiffed me in the no-no zone. <laughs> you know? Yes. I just want to say. Yes. But I love it when you, Mo Diggity, utilize the Twitter and you take a hashtag that somebody has made for positive reasons and you sh and you use the hashtag and then proceed to shit all over it it's my favorite thing oh well uh, what, what did i do this time <laughs> i'm looking at the tweet that you put out that says hashtag well, we love you beto oh well, yeah no, fuck that really guy <laughs> no 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 fuck that guy he's an <laughs> embarrassment dude we've had such better texas democrats We've had such better Texas Democrats, man. Do you guys Molly when he, Ivins. When he ran for president for like a month? Uh, pfft, yeah, and everyone made fun of him. And then he left because he was crying like a little bitch. Oh, fuck him. Gun grabber piece of shit shall not be infringed. What part of that does this fuckhead not understand? Ugh. It come to Texas. We, we, I'm going to take your guns. Yeah, come bring it all, pal. Fucking like try to do that to small. Try to do that to ghetto, like to any of the ghettos in Houston. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah, go right a fucking guns. head, you idiot. Fucking cheese eating rat motherfucker. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him and take all the California trash fucking with you. Fucking scum. Fuck Beto. Ugh. God, you know, I, I hate the Republicans like a whole lot here. Like, I have no love for my current governor right now. But he's like a hundred times better than fucking Beto's sorry asses. Uh, Beto's such a fucking fake ass Texan. Like, he's he's one of these Dallas motherfuckers. Like, if you, if all, any of you ever go uh, check out Augie RFC, he he lives in the Dallas Fort Worth area, and the the further north you get into Texas, the 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 clearer it is 
that Texas sort of disappeared after you got out of freaking because uh, Dallas and Fort Worth, yeah, there's a fair amount of redneck oil barons there, but like you, you really see the fucking Yankee fucking East Coast scum, fucking like uh, just uh, uh, infecting my city is like a fucking disease and it started with Dallas and Fort Worth because they're just a gigantic colossal mega city it's like a mega city one from freaking uh, 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 Judge Dredd from the Dredd series man mm-hmm. ugh like the, these fucking people they, they, they took they came here and they, they they brought their bullshit with them and they, they really ruined uh, any chance of any like decent democrat ever getting elected ever again because they're all like extremely unlikable like you know what you never do in texas is say yeah you're damn right we're coming for your guns i'm going to take your guns away from you i'm going to take your ar-15 like oh no 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 you should not have said that you know you should always like you know say hey i'm I'm thinking about gun control, but I'm not trying to take your guns because you're going to make them fucking flip out. <laughs> you you yeah. can't do that. Like, that's a bad idea here. Like, you can't you can't do that shit in Texas. You can't do that shit in the fucking South. You might get away with that shit in, in California and Seattle and other, and I mean this respectfully, in other liberal conclaves like the East Coast and stuff. But Like, the NRA can fuck off. Yeah, the NRA can the, the NRA can fuck off. Like you'd be surprised at how much hatred uh, the NRA like the NRA is very very unpopular. Like the most of the traditionalists, well, yeah, because they're fuckheads, and because you know, like I, I remember when I uh, divorced myself, like you know, my gun loving por- portion of myself from them, when they couldn't even leave the people of Columbine alone after the fucking shooting. And Charleston Heston's stupid ass uh, has to end his his fucking very I oh God I hate saying this but his very insensitive speech to the victims of the families of the one of the worst shooting school shootings in like what almost a decade since uh, uh, there was like one in like ninety one or ninety two something like Pearl Jam Jeremy. Uh, uh, that song, that that song was about that. King Jeremy, Jeremy anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, oh god, I just I'm ranting and raving and carrying on. Uh, uh, Robin, uh, what what do you think of? Uh, uh, ultimately, where where do you think this is going to lead to? Do you do you think Bernie has a real shot of sort of a, a Pulling out, uh, or pulling out, uh, pulling up just in the <laughs> nick of time, and maybe clenching the DNC nomination. Or do you think that uh, we we pretty much are about to have a a Biden uh, insert sell out here v- for VP uh, ticket? No, I think Bernie still has a shot, but uh, like I'm holding out hope. But it's I not that it's far. Good. It's not that far fetched. No, it's, it's really not. But his delegate count's Biden's not that probably bad. Probably going to win. Yeah. In the Democratic election, except everybody has the coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus, we cancel I'm just everything. I'm Twitter, and he's like, I'd imagine all these TV shows, but they all died. Because yeah, can't, all the, like, the fucking, can't all the like crony capitalists and shit just get corona and die or something? Well, yeah, see, this is why all South by Southwest needs to happen. That's why South by Southwest needs to fucking happen, so we can get all these I bastards all who... I hope we all get corona and die. Every single one of them. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I, I, I try not to root for the freaking coronavirus, but sometimes I get aggravated. And I'm like, I, it's in my I, state now. It's in my state now too. And I think I'm like, it's in my state. It came to Connecticut the other day, and I work at a gas station, so I work with money all day. Apparently, yeah, there's a good few in Florida. I am almost certainly going to get the coronavirus. Ugh. Robin. Yep. We gotta have a party. We gotta have a coronavirus party for Robin. No, let's not. No, Look at those chicken pox parties we had as kids, and I. Just... <laughs> oh, exactly. dude, dude, dude. <laughs> no, I, 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 all right. So, there's this fucking economist who's like, this is the, this guy is a perfect candidate, uh, to get the fucking coronavirus because this is, you know what you do when you have a controversial thought or one that you know will get you yelled at, y- y- you push it, you stuff it down. 
and just push it down and don't let it ever escape your fucking lips. You you hide. This is what we like to call hiding your power level. <laughs> well, this fucking moron. He goes on. I think it was like CNBC, like the 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 the, the stock market centric one. And he was like. Well, yeah, you know, like, I think, hell, I think we all should just get the freaking coronavirus already and just get it over with. So in a month or two's time, the freaking media will stop trying to hype it up as if some, uh, d uh, some mega virus, and then we can just get over it. Like, a day later, there's, he, he issues a, a no, mu uh, no MSNBC or no media, so like, you, you know how they put, like, a little bit of music in the background mm -hmm. just to keep you from being bored? Well, yeah. he had he had to issue a very sincere apology to keep his job because that apparently like panicked some freaking stockbrokers and there was a few stocks that fucking fell because of the shit because the stock market people watch CNBC. And, if you and, have insurance stocks right now, you should get the fuck like holy shit, you're rich. Oh, oh dude, my yeah, god. I like I with, I know with Biden winning on Super Tuesday and with the coronavirus Oh my god, medical insurance stocks are booming right now. Like, I, I know that Mr. Medicare is bashing on the people who are like, lol, by the dip. But that's a good point. If you are if you want to go ahead and just, uh, you know, make a few bucks, that'd probably be a really great way to freaking make a few bucks right there. Is, uh, I mean, if you, if you don't mind the cost of your soul. Uh, if you know, if you don't mind watching people sit, getting sick, because you're sort of hedging your bet on the fact that this is going to become a full-blown pandemic that will end up getting the cure uh, eventually, but you're sort of banking on the idea that maybe millions of people will die, but you'll be making millions and millions of dollars because of it. it, it it's kind of like that fucking uh, oh billions that show billions. Uh, it, it's it's kind of like it's that. Show. Oh, it's it's a fucking great show, man. It has Paul Giamatti in it. It's got a few other really great uh, actors in there. In fact, the whole cast is really, really good. I'm sort of behind a season or two on that show. But if you've ever, if you've never seen the show Billions, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a good financial SEC versus a fucking uh, short seller. Like think Pharma Bro, but on crack. That's the uh, the quote unquote antagonist right there. It's fucking great. Uh, my boy Martin Shkreli. Oh yeah, Fomo, bro. Bro, bro. I'm so glad he's in fucking jail. God, he's a piece I of shit. I miss him. Oh uh, yeah, well, Who went uh, to jail. Martin Shkreli. Oh, sad. Like he he know, talks. He he has some really good bants. I'll, I'll give the man that. We main the same character in League of Legends. So. Yeah. Oh no shit, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. All right, we get, we're at the hour mark, and uh, my jaw is freaking hurting. Um. Riley, how about we go ahead and start with you? Uh, final thoughts on the DNC Super Tuesday. Where do you think uh, the election is going to head uh, head to, and are, how committed are you to the vote blue no matter who mentality? Go ahead and start. Um, fuck the DNC for cucking Bernie once again. Fuck everything. If your if your state still has a primary left, I think there's a few left. Please vote for fucking Bernie. Please do it. Do it. Fucking do it. Please. Please. And um. Also, people, this is, I'm gonna get on like a two minute thing here. Go Very right short. ahead. Go right ahead. People who are voting still for people who have dropped out of the race. These are my people. These are the old Yang people who will not stop being Yang people. Please stop. Please. It's time to stop. Do not vote it's third party. To... If you are not voting for one of the the candidates in the Democratic or Republican away. Party, you're you, are, you are not voting. Yeah, you're, you're, I, I, you're I, I, I'm sorry, you guys. I totally 100% disagree with that statement. That's fine, but we're, we're right. I a vote, vote for not a democrat. A vote for not a democrat is a vote for Trump. I yeah. don't. I I don't Please. agree with that at all. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, all, right, all right. You know what? We're, we'll have that debate another another day. But you know what? That's actually a really good debate to have in the next couple of weeks. Is like. How and also, here here's what's super fucking important. Young people, stop saying you're gonna vote for Bernie. Go vote for Bernie. Don't say it. Do it. Go yeah. vote. 
Yeah, isn't that so fucked up that Bernie has lost the way that he did? Like, Bernie is such a great, uh, enthusiastic base. And they could have, all the Bernie supporters, if they got off their asses on Super Tuesday you or, didn't go or and vote. early vote. You said you were gonna and you didn't go vote. Where are you? It, it, what are you all doing? Yeah, it's it's fucking sad. Like, Joseph Bi Joe Biden should not have Joseph won. Joseph Biden. I, I'm looking at the freaking, uh, what, what is this, uh, CNBC or uh, New, the New York Times .com. I'll, I'll link in the description uh, the live primary because it's still checking for updates every like 10 seconds uh, because apparently the counts are still going on. But, dude, this is this is a huge uh, you get what you fucking deserve moment because you sat on your ass. You said, I'm voting Bernie. Nah, maybe later, man. Like, well, now you're getting freaking Biden or you're getting Trump, bro. Yeah, you see, I'm I'm in that unfortunate boat where I will be old enough to vote in the general election, but I will not be old enough to vote in my state's primary. So hey, I have to hope just get it next time, man. I will get it next time. And I am going to vote blue in the general election. I encourage everyone to do the same. And there, I mean, you can do things during your primaries. Like, you can, you can canvas, you can fucking get people to vote get other people to vote you can talk to all your friends and all your family in you can try to I, talk. I, had my, I had my mother convinced uh to vote for bernie if bernie was the runner instead of hillary i'll be i tried to bribe a couple of my friends into voting yang back when he was still running oh i'll be i'll be totally honest you know if uh if uh the 2016 election didn't happen the way it happened i was solidly in the bernie camp in, in the bernie camp yeah for uh, 2016 even though I, I wanted to vote for my libertarian candidate like I like to usually do uh, you know I, was... I, I couldn't vote at the time but I was on team Bernie until you know no, Bernie until... Dropped, and then Hillary's there and then you, you're like well you gotta go on team Hillary now that's what you gotta do you can't just you know vote Hillary the lesser of two evils that's what I used to say back in 2016 yeah <laughs> uh, man, but the it... thing is Blood, voting blue is voting the lesser of two evils. Uh, exactly. Even if, no matter how evil the blue is, lesser of two. I don't know, but this one's pretty bad, though. Like, uh, even though Trump had the grab him by the well, pussy okay, moment. Not oh, that bad. No, he he's is pretty, really, no, he's, really, he's bad. really fucking bad. Like, he's, he's, I think, objectively the worst choice that we have right now. The absolute worst choice. And this is... Yeah, he's the worst choice we had right now, but we had booty chug and um uh what's the other one what's the other fucker stop and press bloomberg oh uh, well, we bloomberg bloomberg's a piece of shit like bloomberg's i think a fascist i i, I think that he's just here like he just i, I think he's Boy, like an old new yorker like those black people are going to commit crimes stop and frisk and like dude he like he's all into profiling and shit like dude you know i, I don't want to hear shit about well it kind of worked yeah, but now you have like generations of minority and and non-white people fucking hating you and this system forever, and the damage is irreparable. It'll never be repaired, and you'll never get that fucking faith in them ever. It's it's like you fucking destroyed them. That's that's what Stop and Frisk did. Ugh. Anyway. Riley, I've been stepping on your shit. Like me and Robin have been stepping on your shit this entire time. Go ahead and finish up your thought, buddy. Yeah, so yep. basically, yep. I hate the DNC. <laughs> I hate them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Is, is, that, is that all you got? Yep. Uh, I don't want to vote for Biden, but I will if I have to. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Robin's... All right, Robin. Same question. Where do you think it's going to go? Where do you think it's go? Well, uh, how do you think it's going to? How do you think the general election is going to go? I guess with with Biden versus Trump, and are you committed to the blue I no hope matter it's who? Sanders versus Trump. But if it's not, I'm yeah, I'm voting for whoever runs up against Trump. Yeah, I, I think Ber I think Bernie's the only one that has a, the the most decent shot there. Like and Trump, it is so fucking important that these young people go out and vote. It matters Please. so much. Please. You it, can't just go on Twitter and say you, you're going to vote and then not vote. Like, you, you need to go and vote. Yeah, I think the majority of people who said they're going to go out and hashtag rock the vote 
or whatever the fucking kids are saying these days. I think the majority of them freaking didn't. And guys, it takes literally, it takes hardly Get nothing. Yeah, it takes hardly nothing Get out there, to Zoomers. Get out there. Vote. It, it vote, takes Zoomers. It takes hardly nothing to register to vote. If you're disabled, you can do fucking like absentee voting and shit. Like there there are ways for you to vote. <laughs> like you can vote. Anyone can vote. Ugh. God. This is going to turn into a fucking shit show. Uh Trump has already got an early start on bagging on freaking Biden. And I got to say with his history of gaffes and and he's scared of Bernie. We need Bernie. Yeah, Come he's, on, guys. I, I, Get I, Bernie up there. He really is scared of the the the, uh, the Democratic Socialists on the freaking docket, because this is going to be sort of a, it's it's going to be the capitalism versus socialism, the the the, the fight that uh, the fight for the ages. You know, it's it's fucking Rocky versus every Tommy other, the Machine Gun and every all other, that. You know, civilized society has you know healthcare. Like, like socialized healthcare now. Like, all of them have it. Canada, fucking the Nordic countries. Like, e everyone's caught up on healthcare, but not us. But not Robin, free healthcare would ruin our com country financially. No, it wouldn't. I have a very conservative friend who makes me very angry. Well, I have several. Uh, God, we, we don't even have the time to even, like, talk about that shit, because... There's there's parts where I believe that, but parts I don't believe that, and but it, it really at the end of the day, there's got to be like several ways that we can come up with a really cheap public option alternative. I mean, it can't really. I know it's going to cost like billions of dollars, but the 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 whole it'll cost us trillions of dollars and trillions more dollars every other year like dude don't, don't we have don't... 12 times the military budget of any other country yes. like dude we can we can hot we can cut so much in taxes and uh, we can go through the regulatory code and the tax code with a fine tooth comb and get rid of a lot of these irrelevant or outdated freaking codes or laws and we can save a ton of money by doing that uh, you can also, like, you can either cut... Letting the people out of jail who are in for, like, having an ounce of marijuana. Like... Yeah, uh, getting rid of yeah, mandatory minimums. Yeah, you're system with that stupid bullshit. Like, that's where tax money's going. Tax money's going to people who, like, got caught 10 years ago for with a fucking ounce of marijuana, and they're in for another 10 years. They're, they're like, 20 years for fucking an ounce of marijuana. Like... Fucking stupid. Th that, that's and they're worth... sitting in our fucking jails, and we're fucking feeding them, and, like, like... God, all our money's going to like shit that it should not be going towards. Like, let these people out of the fucking jails. They're, they shouldn't even be in there in the first place. That was a big thing that I was really disappointed in Obama. You know, like I, I, I kind of thought that maybe he would have like the guts to sort of like sign sort of a blanket pardon for a lot of these mandatory minimum uh, sentences of uh, people, and especially like if if we got rid of the three strike laws, that would fucking help out too. Because that shit's just designed to keep you in jail. It's a it's a form of modern day slavery, in my opinion. The three strikes laws are, but anyway, yeah, that's that's pretty much all. I I I think I've said everything that I've wanted to say. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get any better than this uh, so far. If I had to put my money on who's going to win the election, I'm I'm really seeing Trump blowing out freaking Biden. No problem. And, and here's it, it, and if you don't believe me, picture this. So the Republicans had their little Super Tuesday for their Republican primary, right? And I think it was uh, uh it, it, Trump, of course, blew it out of the water. He he got the nod. Yeah, nobody's gonna run against Trump. That's yeah. Stupid. Well, th there's this dumbass uh, the, the, the Ethan Ralph of the Ralph retort reported on uh, this this lady who got in a fight at like a. The uh, America First pack and uh, like w with someone from the America Firster packs, uh, the, their little fucking shindig, because the uh, the, the America the the conservative other, uh, th those fucking weirdos, uh, they were having their conference too at the same time, and a couple of the people intermingled <laughs> with each other and fights ensued, and well one of the women is trying to run against Trump because she doesn't think Trump has what it takes to. Uh, make this country great or whatever the fuck. But yeah, uh, 
his combined the great again. The his combined uh, the, the voters that turned out. Uh, his total fucking voter turnout was greater than every single one of the freaking Democrats in the Super Tuesday primary combined. So that's what we're up against. The Republican base is already cock locked and ready to rock. So if you're not really willing to go out there and vote for Bernie Sanders, even though you said you were, but you, you fucked off and, and now you have Biden as your man, and you could have even had Gabbard as, as your woman, but Hillary decided to call her a fucking bullshit Russian agent, and that tanked her freaking campaign. Oh, God, the, the Democrats really did everything that they could to tank this campaign. I'm, I'm, I think they're a glutton for punishment, or they just don't care anymore. Ugh. But yeah, that's that's what we're up, that's what y'all are up against. That's what I'm up against. I don't want fucking Trump president either. So Riley, where can they find you? Where what hawk you shit? You can find me on Twitter, Riley tweets, uh, Twitch at twitch.tv slash Riley streams, Pokemon Variety Hour on Stitcher or Spotify, Pixel Polygon has been found literally anywhere you can find a podcast. And finally, the Riley Podcast Mega Feed, where all of my main uh, self-run podcasts are. Please subscribe to that one. That one's important. Uh, that one's on Stitcher or Spotify. Just search the Riley Podcast Mega Feed or go to anchor.fm slash Riley Mega Feed. All right, all right. And uh, Robin, where the ca- where can they find ye? Find me on Twitter at Insight Alloy. And then I stream sometimes on Twitch under the same name, Insight Alloy. Twitch.tv slash Insight Alloy. <laughs> need to stream more so I can watch you. I need to stream more, I know. My yeah. boyfriend was saying I need to play some more Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, I, need, I, I need to beat it. I really love those Jedi Fallen Order streams. Uh, I, I've, I've enjoyed every single one I've watched so far. I've been watching my friend play uh, uh, Fallen Order a lot lately. and I just I'm, at, think... I'm at basically the end of the game. I haven't beaten it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, and you can find me at twitch.tv slash mo diggity, uh, wow. youtube.com forward slash c forward slash mo diggity 42, mo, mo diggity 42 on Instagram, and uh, happy at happy good boy 420 on Twitter. And That's Patreon. Right. Oh, yes, and, and of course, patreon.com forward slash mo side productions. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said slash Ben Saint. Shut your fucking ass up. No, you're not going to. Patreon.com slash Hysteria. Oh, you, you know, see, that's the only <laughs> other acceptable answer to interrupt me. Like, forward slash dot com, uh, patreon.com forward slash Hysteria. You can, you can say, go, go to check out Hysteria. He's fucking great. Anyway, <laughs> fucking right. Check out Ben Saint, too. He's also great. Yeah, he's, he's great. Yes, Ben Saint. Yeah. All right, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. And thank you for listening. Until next time, ta-ta. Bye. (laughs) Every time. (laughs) We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. Pokemon Mimits, what I think he do. Wouldn't give them any other guy. Oh